So we're in the parking lot of a Walmart in Carthage, Tennessee, waiting for the eclipse. And we were in a Mexican restaurant when it first started at about noon, and it's now uh, been in progress for about half an hour, and totality will be in about another hour, about 1.30, and should last about two and a half minutes here. This is a pretty good spot for it. So uh, we'll have to move around if the clouds don't cooperate, but so far it looks pretty promising here most of the time. Yeah, so we moved across from the Walmart parking lot because we were afraid that the uh, light in the parking lot would snap on when it becomes a total eclipse. So right now the sun is uh, just a little crescent, even smaller than the Islamic flag crescent now. Uh, and yet it doesn't seem all that dark. Um, it's just uh, kind of surprising that it hasn't had more of an effect. I'm getting there. But uh, it is definitely getting a little cooler. It was mid-90s before and it feels like it's dropping into the high 80s now. So another 10 minutes or so and we'll be at totality. You can't tell from the camera, but there's definitely not very much sun left at this point. We're down to about only five minutes or so, I think, to totality. Video, Linda, that's, that's a cool shot. <laughs> oh, the sun is eclipsed by Danny's head. <laughs> oh from the camera because it's adjusting, but it's actually really dark. It's weirdly dark. It's not even the dark that you get when clouds come over. It's like the dark of being in heavy fog, except there's infinite visibility. It's just really dim. So the lights came on over at Sonic because it got so dark. Glad we moved away. It's much darker than it looks like on this video. It's getting really dark now. We're just coming up on totality here. There it goes. Yeah, so now it looks like there's Oh, that's, that is really neat. It looks like a rock in front of the sun. Because you can really see all around the outside of the moon. But it's sunset everywhere, all around us. <laughs> it's a 360 degree sunset. And again, it's much darker than the camera makes it look. It's it's like well into night time here. Let's get a selfie with the three oh, of us. Oh, there's a star. It's probably, probably Venus, yeah. Uh -huh. Probably Venus up there. Yeah, I, it's, it's pretty amazing. I'll see if I can. Whoa. Can I pull it adjust down? Well, that's the totality there. And there are stars in the sky. The sunset being all around us, though, that's what's really strange. Yeah. Oh, there's a bird. Yeah. Yeah, the night birds have started making their sounds. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm feeling oddly unrested. The moon looks much more irregular than I was expecting. It's, it looks like a jagged... Uh, yeah, there's like a... Well, like an asteroid in front of the... Sun more. And now there's starting to be in the bottom right corner, there's like a red flare where you can see the sun peeking out from behind it. So it's like the diamond ring effect. It's almost like it's on fire there. How much time do we have left? Uh, I don't know. But it's funny with the, with oh, the, with the glasses up. Oh, yep, there it's, it's out. Now, totality is over. And now it's suddenly getting much brighter really fast. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like it's and it warm it's it, and it's cooled a, off. And it's like a white light though. It's not a, it's not a yellow light like yeah. you normally know, associate with it. Yeah. It's, wow. <laughs> Whoa. Well, that was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. That was
was ten times better than expectation. <laughs> it seems like once it seems like it almost accelerates once it's going past the edge. Pretty neat. This is this is like the light that you get in between clouds when there's been a storm. You know how it's kind of super white focused light. Yeah. It doesn't really look like like the shat the shadow on your chest and stuff. It doesn't really look like normal sunlight at all. Well, that was definitely worth the trip, huh? Yes. Definitely. <laughs> So the thing that was really remarkable is how it was kind of cool that for an hour it got darker and now it's starting to get lighter and it's warming up again. But really the thing is that for that two minutes and 38 seconds, it was like nothing we'd ever experienced. It was just uh, otherworldly and you, you can't explain it unless you've actually stood where the total eclipse is, but that's completely different than the whole rest of the eclipse experience. It's really cool.